Well, this morning the House Appropriations Committee, the full committee, uh, passed the Defense uh, Appropriations Bill. Included in that was a provision that we've been fighting for to stop the Air Force from uh, doing away with the 132nd mission as far as the F-16s. Uh, this is a major step in the right direction uh, to stop them from uh, doing away with that wing that's so vital to us in, in central Iowa. Uh, they have an enormous impact as far as our area. Uh, the resources that they bring uh, are unbelievable with the experience of the pilots and the uh, mechanics. Uh, and this is a great first step. We expect to have this bill on the floor uh, in June uh, to go through and move it to the next step and then go to conference with the Senate. But the, the chairman of the full committee, the chairman of the defense subcommittee, really featured this provision talking about the bill today in the committee. I think the chances of this becoming uh, part of the final bill are very, very good because uh, we've seen tremendous support uh, from the governors everywhere across the country, uh, certainly with the uh, National Guard units uh, across the country. Uh, the Senate is very much aware of the concerns that we have as far as the 132nd, and uh, this, I think, has a very good chance of getting in the final bill, uh, which would go into effect then October 1st. Uh, you would have a cost-benefit analysis done, uh, reviewed by the Government Accounting Office, and really show the benefits of, of keeping uh, the 132nd in Des Moines. I testified before the Armed Services Committee, and the authorization bill is actually on the floor today uh, for the Defense Department and for a provision in that. Uh, that does a similar uh, thing as far as preserving the 132nd. This is the bill, though, the appropriation bill, and the one that I serve on that committee uh, that we have pushed for to make sure that uh, no funds will be expended to, uh, to do away with the 132nd. Uh, and so this is where the really the rubber meets the road in this bill. The cost-benefit analysis uh, is something that is absolutely necessary. Uh, we can show how efficient cost savings uh, the 132nd is compared to active duty wings. Uh, the F-16s are going to be part of our Air Force for probably decades yet. And so to keep that uh, uh, capability we have uh, at the 132nd is absolutely critical, I think, for national security uh, and certainly as far as cost savings with the Pentagon.